How to choose the right model. AIC Simplified. Hi everyone. Today, we will discuss how to use the Akaik Information Criterion, or AIC for short, to identify the best fitted model for a given dataset. AIC is defined as below. Here, K represents the number of parameters in the model, and L is the maximum value of the likelihood function related to the model. Imagine you have several models to pick from, each with different complexities. How do you pick the right one? This is where AIC comes in. The AIC helps us strike balances between two things how well the model fits the data and how simple the model is. We need a model that is not too simple in that it misses important patterns, and not too complex in that it overfits and makes unreliable predictions. So, let's uncover how IC guides us in choosing the right model for our analysis. Let us assume that we have n number of models for comparison. We name these models as model 1, model 2, up to model n, and their AIC values are AIC1, AIC2, up to AICn, respectively. The usual guide for model selection based on AIC is that a model with the lowest AIC value among other models is the best fitted model. Suppose AIC4, which is the AIC value for model 4, is the minimum AIC value. Assume that this model is somewhat complex model with compared to the other models. Can we use another simple model instead of this complex model? To do this, we can use the rule of thumb given in the journal article titled Multimodal Inference, Understanding AIC and BIC in Model Selection by Kenneth P. Burnham and David R. Anderson, published in Sociological Methods Research in 2004. According to this rule of thumb, we first find the differences between the AIC values of the other models with the model having the minimum AIC value. According to this rule of thumb, suppose we want to compare model I with model 4. Then, Consider the difference of their AIC values. That is AIC I minus AIC 4. Likewise, we find differences of other models as well. If this difference is less than 2, then there is no substantial difference between the models. In this case, select the simplest model among them. If the difference is in between 2 and 4, then there is a strong support for model I. If this model is more simple than other models, select model I. Otherwise, compare the other models with model 4 and select the simplest one. If the difference is in between 4 and 7, then there is considerably less support for model I. Then, consider the AIC difference of other models and select the simplest one according to the rule of thumb. If the difference is greater than 10, then there is no support for model I. Again, we have to consider the AIC difference of other models and select the simplest one according to the rule of thumb. I hope that this guide helps you to select the best model which is not too complex in that it overfits and makes unreliable predictions. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.